Welcome to the In Her Garden. I'm Shaquana. I hope that you are having a beautiful day today. And if you're not, then I hope that you begin to dig and do the work, the inner work, the soul work, because you are worth the inner work for inner growth. Today's word of encouragement is a word that has been sitting with me for um, about two weeks now, I believe. And um, I had to allow God to just really download, pour into me what it is that he's saying regarding this word. And I believe it's going to be for those of you who he's talking to about um, being with him in intimacy. Okay. And so um, when he gave me this word, it was back to back on a Friday and then on a Saturday um, two weeks ago. And uh, um since the last video, let me say that since the last video, so how many days that's been, that's how many, that's how long it's been. Um, and so that weekend, if you will. And when it came to me, when the word came to me, um, it came in the form of a song, the Holy Spirit, let me hear this song. And I haven't heard this song in a very long time. It's probably been more than a decade now. And the song is One Night with the King Changes Everything One Day in His Courts Could Forever Change Your Course But the only thing that He let me hear was One Night with the King changes everything he let me hear that on one particular day and then the next day so I just kept singing it over and over right and I haven't heard this song in a long time so what do you do you go and research the song and so he told me to release this song over you all as well because he said in one night with the king one night with the king is what you are entering into because there's something that's about to happen in your life okay so do me a favor before we get into this word would you please make sure that you um, share this with someone that you know if it's not intended for you and it's intended for them pass it along with you and then make sure that you always read the biblical uh, scripture that will be placed below for you to refer to and always always do me this favor take this word back to the Lord in prayer to see what he's saying to you about your life and more revelation and confirmation of what he's doing in your life because he said it's one night with the king and he said everything in your life is going to change in one night I decree and I declare that over your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth everything in your life is going to change in one night in one night and so I'm going to give you the actual scriptures first and then I'm going to actually um, my laptop is up here so if the light goes out that's my laptop because I got to sing this song if you will um, and give you the lyrics of this song so you can hear what the Holy Spirit is saying and so um, he also said to turn to es Esther when he gave me this song Immediately he said Esther, right? He placed that before me, Esther. And I believe it was a weekend ago that he had me to sit and just read the entire book of Esther. Okay. And um, gain more insight of what he's saying. And so it's Esther chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Esther chapter 5, 1, 4. And particularly Acts 16, um, the verses 16 all the way to the very end of that chapter but particularly he highlighted 25 at 16 25 through 26 and um, we're going to read Esther chapter 2 verses 15 through 17 and then Esther 5 1 through 4 okay and then Acts 16 um, 25 through 26 also Psalms 84 because he highlighted this one night with the king is going to change everything in your life everything is going to change in your life in one night come on say that one night decree and declare that over your life in the name of Jesus so the word says here in Esther chapter 2 verse 15 now when the turn of Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai thank you Holy Spirit who had taken her as his daughter came to go in to the king she did not request anything except what Haggai the king's Enoch who was in charge of the women advised and Esther found favor in the eyes of all who saw her everyone saw Esther 
okay? Everyone saw her. So Esther was taken to King. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not going to do that today to myself. And it, just, let it, let's just call him King X or King A, okay? To his royal palace in the 10th month, which is the month Tibet in the seventh year of his reign. She was taken to King A. Uh, 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 ex to his royal palace in the 10th month which is the month of Tibet in the 7th year of his reign and then the king loved Esther more than all the women the king loved Esther more than all the women and she found favor and kindness with him more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti or Vashti okay then we're going to go to um, Esther chapter 5 and it's going to be verses one through four. Now, it came about on the third day that Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court. She stood in the inter inner court of the king's palace in front of the king's rooms. And the king was sitting on his royal throne in the throne room. Come on. Welcome to the throne room. I hear that song opposite the entrance to the palace. And when the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, she obtained favor in his sight. And the king extended to Esther the golden scepter, which was in his hand. So Esther came near and touched the top of the scepter. And the king, then the king said to her, what is troubling you, Queen Esther? And what is your request? Even to half of the kingdom, it shall be given to you. Esther said, if it pleases the king, may the king and Haman come to come this day to the banquet that I have prepared for him. Acts 16, Acts 16, particularly 25 through 26. And this is when Paul and Silas, they was on their way to prayer, the house of prayer. And they were met with the spirit, right? A demonic spirit. And then he cast this spirit out because he had been following them day after day. Just giving you a little bit of background story here. And so he ended up being aggravated, agitated, irritated, frustrated, you know, just annoyed with this spirit that was proclaiming who they were, but really was on assignment to really stop, block, hinder, suffocate them, if you will, um, take from them if you will, from being on the assignment that God had the apostles on. And so when that came about, they got mad. The people that was really behind the scenes um, using this young little girl, virgin girl in the um, as, a, as a means or a medium, if you will, to release this upon them, if you will, and to follow them and to monitor them and to track them in the spirit. And so what, she, what, she, what he did was he began to just cast that little spirit out and the um, authorities and even the masters of the little young virgin got upset and then they dragged Paul and Silas and put them in the prison but this is what the Lord wants you to know that one night with the king is going to change everything and so in Acts chapter 16 verses 25 through 26 but in your leisure time he wants you to read 16 to the end right 16 to the very end of that chapter so let's go there it says here in Acts 16 25 but at midnight because they were thrown in prison right but at midnight Paul and Silas was praying and singing hymns of praise to God and the prisoners was listening to them because they was praying and singing hymns of praise to God and suddenly there came a great earth Quake so that the foundations of the pr prison house were shaken and immediately all the doors somebody say all the doors were open and everyone's chains was unfastened uh, and then we'll go on to um, uh, Psalms 84 and 10. And the Holy Spirit said to tell you that one night with the king again is going to change everything in your life. Everything is going to change in one night. What did Esther do that was uh, gave, gave her access into the king, if you will? What did she do? What did she do? And the Holy Spirit began to tell me that it was according to this very word. She knew one thing to do, and that was to praise the king. She asked the man that was over the harem and over the girls, what is the very thing that gonna 
that's going to please the king. And he said to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, but his courts with praise. Come on, let the high praises of God be in your mouth. And he said, better is one day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere. Come on, a day with the Lord is yet a thousand years, but a thousand years is but a day. And so he's saying that even with him, he's going to change your course of your life. One day in his courts will change your course. According to this song, I'm going to release this to you so that you can understand that one day, one night with the king will change your life to one day. One night with the king changes into one day with the king. One day with the king is better than a thousand elsewhere. Come on, or a day with the king is a thousand years. And so God is telling you today that he's asking you and inviting you to come into one night with him. What is that night? It's even on tonight to come into one night with him because he's going to change your night into day in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that over your life that your night is turning into day with the king in the name of Jesus. He inhabits the praises of his people. He said, let your, let the high praises of God be in your mouth before you come to him and ask him for, you know, you know, when it comes to a request, right? The request, she, he said, what's troubling you, Esther? But she had a request that she had to place before him because there was an assignment that the enemy had in place to take out the Jews. But Esther was on assignment too, but she had the wisdom of God to maneuver in the spirit to even go before the king to not request anything yet, but to praise him. Come on. She knew how to come before the king. And so he said, enter his gates with thanksgiving, but his courts with praise. Paul and Silas knew one thing when they were in prison, when they were in a restricted place, when they were in a tight spot, Paul said, listen, you may have him in this very little confined box, but this box don't have him. He said he's going to break out in praise, break out in hymns and songs. And all the other prisoners were set free as well in that regard, because they looking at them like, how could they begin to just praise God in this restricted place? But I heard the spirit of the Lord say that he will give you a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, of sadness, of restriction of whatever you are in in the name of Jesus and he began to say that the praises of God goes up you know the phrase when praises go up blessings come down but he's saying that he's going to cause the God in you God is going to cause him in within you he's going to cause him within you to break in break out break forth and break through everything that is trying to restrict you why because of the praises of God in your mouth Esther knew how to praise the king Come on. She knew how to praise the king. God said in one night, everything is going to change in your life. Everything that one night with the king is going to change in one course. And so he says here in um, in second Peter three verses eight of uh, second Peter three eight through nine, you know, don't, um, it's not God's will for anyone to perish, but everyone to have everlasting life, right? He doesn't want anyone to perish, but to conduct yourself in both holiness, come on, in holiness and godliness. God is after you because he's going to change your entire life in one night, in one night night okay in one night and he said here to uh sing this song over you and i decree and i declare this song over your life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth on today one day with the lord is yet a thousand years and that means a new cycle it's a new day come on it's a new day in your life and he said to declare this song and decree this song over your life in the name of jesus one night with the king changes everything one day in his courts did forever change my course one moment in his presence and I've never been the same one night with the king changes everything one day in his courts could forever change your course one moment in his presence and you'll never be the same one night with the king 
It changes everything. One day in his courts could forever change your course. From the desert to the king, it had been my destiny to be chosen for such a time as this. I didn't know all of my dreams could become realities. Then I saw his face and his love captured me. Yes, one night with the king, it really changes everything. Just one day in his court. It will forever change your course. All you need tonight is just one moment. Dun dun. It's like an orchestra playing, right? In his presence. Dun dun. Just one moment. Dun dun. In his presence. Hey hey. One moment. Dun dun. In his presence, and you'll never. Be the same one night with the king. It changes everything. And it just keeps going on and saying that repeatedly because he's changing your course. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord is saying that he's changing changing your course. I don't know what course you've been on. If you've been on a backslidden course, come on. If you've been on an idolatry course, if you've been on a fornication course, whatever course you've been on, he's changing your course. Whatever course that the enemy has set up for you, he's changing your course in one night with the king. He's going to change everything your everything in your life is going to change in one night i do not know what course you are on but the holy spirit said when you give him one night with him just one night of intimacy better is one day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere come on he says He's changing you. He's changing your course and everything. Just like this song says, she did not know that all of her dreams could become a reality. Come on. He's saying that he's giving you the reality of your dreams. It will not just be a dream, but it's coming into reality. I decree and I declare that in the name of Jesus, everything that God has shown you in a dream is going to become a reality. One night with the king is going to change into one day with him one day with him and so he said your praises is causing you to go into this next place in your life this new cycle in your life come on he's passing over you whatever the enemy tried he's passing over all of that because of one night oh my god because of one night because of the blood of christ in the name of jesus the blood of jesus covers you the blood of jesus speaks for you the king the throne room come on is you entering into the throne room the word says that she stood in the inner court the inner court is where the, where the presence of the lord is come on in the throne room it was adjacent from the palace you're already in in the palace if you need reference for that you can go and um, begin to just listen to the last latest word on this channel but other than that he's saying you're already in the palace but this is the thing now you're entering to the courts and what is he saying about all of this he said before you pray the holy spirit told me to tell you before you pray in this season praise him praise God before you pray before you make your request known he is asking you to praise God for his goodness praise him for his faithfulness praise him for his strength praise him for his uh, might praise him for all of the things that he's done for his mighty acts praise him for who he is praise him for everything that he's doing that you don't even know that he's doing behind the scenes praise him because he's the God who works behind the scenes come on he's the God who works behind behind the scenes to show up on the scenes for you come on he's showing up on the scenes for you he said praise him and exalt him extol him uh, and magnify him come on give him the highest praise hallelujah it's the highest praise hallelujah it's the highest praise I, i hear that song let every person that has breath praise the lord come on sing a joyful noise unto the lord come on let everything that have breath praise the lord and that's from that very album throne room okay so this is what the holy spirit is saying for you to do spend one night with the king because he's gonna change your course when you enter into his courts, 
you entered the courts with the highest praise. I hope that you've gotten something out of this. I hope that you have gotten a word or something from this word today to know that you can do exactly what Paul and Silas did, and that is to give God the highest praise. According to Psalms 84, let me read this to you, and this will be it. It said, For a day in your courts, it's better than a thousand anywhere else. I'm reading from the Amplified. And I would rather stand as a doorkeeper at the threshold or at the house of my God than to live at ease in the tents of wickedness. Okay. And the, for the Lord, my God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows grace and honor. Come on. Grace and honor or grace and glory and favor and honor. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, there's no good thing that God is going to withhold from you that because you walk uprightly before him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. O Lord of hosts, how blessed and greatly favored is the woman. Come on, the woman and the man who trusts in you, believing in you, relying on you and committing his self, himself or herself to you with confident hope and expectation. May the Holy Spirit keep you. May the Holy Spirit have this word to be implanted within you that is able to save your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions in this time. I hope that you do the work because you are worth the soul work. And I will talk with you later. Have a beautiful day today. I'm going to place the very song in the bottom of the description box. And I just ask and suggest that you really go and listen to this song because this song took me in I was on the floor do you understand um and the Lord is too faithful to fail us the Lord is too kind okay he's not a man that he should lie neither the 